Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm so good. How are you? I'm doing great. It's just the end of the day here in Europe. So I have just finished working. Good morning to you guys from USA. <laughs> good morning and good evening to you. So tell everybody where you are right now. I was just saying. I'm in Slovenia. This is like a super small country in the central Europe near Italy and I'm staying here due to the situation with COVID because I should be traveling to Dubai, to Bali and so on but we are here safe hopefully yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah working online. <laughs> I love it. I know we were supposed to be traveling also it's kind of strange but at the same time like it's good to feel safe yeah. um, as well so little fun fact I used to live in Slovenia Ljubljana That's when so I was <laughs> 10 years old I even went to Slovenian school and if there was a point in my life that I spoke Slovenian but now I forgot it so. can you say something still can you say um, <laughs> oh my god I forgot I'm so sorry but I can understand a lot I mean it was but I can tell you, Ljubljana, like Stari Grad, Bled, it's like the most beautiful places. And it I had is. some really good childhood memories there. It is, and super safe. But it's so funny, you know, because Slovenia is so super small. We are only two millions here. And it's, you know, the funniest thing ever that I'm meeting you living in Slovenia. You know, it's just like... I know, I know. <laughs> Well, I thought it would be really wonderful. I'm, first of all, I'm so excited to talk to you. I cannot wait to learn about face yoga and for you to teach everybody that's watching some really fun and probably some funny facial moves, which I can't wait to do with you. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I've always been fascinated with face yoga. I really believe in it. I believe that it's so important to exercise our facial muscles yeah. Not just for the appearance, but also for the well-being. And I, you know, part of my brand is really promoting self-care and wellness. And, yeah. I, think there's and a I, love side about, I love that about it, yeah. And I think there's a side to face yoga that people don't realize. It's really about wellness, too. So please yeah. just tell us. I'm so excited. And then um, we'll do some, I think you're going to teach us, right? You can tell me. And then we'll do a next yeah. treatment because I, I yes. think it's like Nesco, yeah. Yeah, so actually I would just like to tell that I started with face exercises when I was only 17. And believe me, it was not because of the wrinkles or because I would be scared of getting them. Yeah. I started with face exercises because I had a burnout. And actually I was trying to find everything I could to, you know, help me with my problems let's say with the energy and sleeping and so on because i was so burned uh, burned out that when i was you know when i woke up i was not having the energy to even stand out of my bed do you know what i mean or when i want went to the to sleep i was not able to sleep because my cortisol levels were so high and actually i was trying to find solution for sure you know i was before a very like um, good dancer, if I can say so. I was studying law and so on, but it was too much because I'm super big professionist. Um, <laughs> perfectionist, sorry. And I was, you know, trying to then, when I got in that situation, um, find something that would slow me down while, while at the same time give me strength to keep on going. And the exercises helped me with that you know it is just a few moves creating resistance the opposite resistance let's say while you are still laying in your bed right and you are already seeing and feeling the change so i would be start i would start practicing face exercises in the morning and they would really give me so much strength and you know like the energy to just get out of the bed that i was just super impressed about it and the same at night but you know when I went to you know help me with sleep and so on right. but at the same time when I visited the course you know what, where I taught um all the exercises um my mom my mom actually went with me too and you know she was 50 at that time and she started seeing very drastic changes on her face especially the double chin and the neck area, you know, I was feeling way better, so much better after only 
14 days of practice, while she, after I can say one month, uh, got almost rid of her double chin at her 50s. And it was so amazing, you know, and she didn't do anything else, just a few exercises, 10 minutes per day. And, you know, I started, I, I got super interested about it for sure because it helped me out. And I started to search more about this topic. And 10 years ago, you know, nothing was there. Um, and even now, 80% of people don't even know about these exercises. Um, I so I started studying. I started, I also went to USA to do some courses, then to Italy, then started to learn about facial massage. But it was so funny because I would be buying books for dentists <laughs> to study facial anatomy, to get all the connections around the muscles and, you know, how everything is connected and how the muscles actually work. And this is how I developed my own programs that I'm now, you know, selling and doing online. And, you know, it is amazing to see the changes, not only on people's faces, but also when they write me, you know, how well they feel afterwards or, you know, how empowered they are doing the exercises. It is amazing and you can do it yourself and it is empowering. And this is what I like it. Like, this is why I like face yoga the most. So what is, for those that are watching, tell us what is, you know, like face yoga and what are some of the biggest benefits for yes. us of face yoga? Yes. So actually, a lot of people now, because face yoga is getting quite popular, think that face yoga is the same as facial massage. It is not. This is like the biggest thing I have to say here. Face yoga is the same as face exercise. So how do you exercise your body? You are creating resistance and the opposite resistance with your own muscles. So you are moving the muscle. You are, let's say, lifting weights. And this is how you are building, lifting the muscle. It is the same with the face. So let's say when you're doing face yoga, you have to pull one muscle in one direction and the other muscle to the other direction. Right. And this is how you are actually tearing apart the tissue and building, you know, speeding up the regeneration process and building the muscle. While face massage is great too. I, you know, it is yeah. very important. <laughs> we all say that. That. Or let's say, say rolling and so on. But the difference is that with, let's say, massage or jade rolling, you are manipulating the muscle from the outside in. Mm -hmm. And it is, you know, let's say face yoga is great for building, toning the muscle, giving volume to the face, you know, improving blood circulation and so on. Also stretching out the tension from the muscles, especially if we are tense here in the jaw. Yeah. Um, while let's say massage is great for improving blood circulation, improving limb circulation, and again, relaxing, um, the, the muscle and the tension from the muscles. That's amazing. So I know you're going to be teaching us. Um, yes. <laughs> so, and uh, everybody that's watching, please try this with us because I'm just excited. Um, what are we going to be focusing on for today's next 10 minute facial exercises? Yes. Today, I would like to show you two most important and staple exercises. Uh, before starting, I really have to tell you this, you know, Face yoga is all about the right technique. You can find on YouTube so many different exercises. A lot of them are also done wrong. I have to say that. Especially if you are a beginner, you have to start slow. So you have the time to start feeling your muscles, to feel where the muscle is going, and to right. really check your form during the exercise. Okay? okay, that's the crucial step. And secondly, it is super important to start activating the biggest, the heaviest muscles first. And then only then you can start focusing on the smallest ones. Or let's say if you have problems with dark circles under the eyes, you shouldn't just do the exercises for this area because this area is connected to your cheeks. It's connected to the temples, which is the temporalis muscle, right? right. It's connected to your forehead. So you have to activate those bigger, heavier muscles first before touching on the under eye area. So it is a process. And before starting, it is super important to get the right technique and to follow the right program. Do you, know what, I, do you know what I love what you said to me earlier today? You said like, when you think of the face yoga, it's like the warm up before we mm -hmm. do like a mask treatment or like a roller, which is like, you know, like a cool down, right? I just yeah. love how you said that. So we're going to be doing warm up first. 
And yes. That's before any facial treatments, before any gemstone rolling, like wash up, yeah. right? Love it. So okay. you, can think of, you know, you can think of face exercises in the same way as, let's say, workout for the body. So right. first, you do a warm up. We are going to do it here. Then we're going to do the exercises for the sides of the face to lift the eyelids and to lift and reduce cross feet here. Okay. And then we're going to start focusing on the neck area and to sculpt the jaw plus reduce the double chin. Yeah. After that, we are then, you know, this is going to be a hard workout. And after that, we are going to cool down and relax our muscles with the jade roller and with the nice. bright uh, face mask. So, or under eye mask in my case. Yeah, I, um, have, a, I have one too. So we'll do that. <laughs> and uh, this is also a great way to do your beauty routine, right? Yeah. And it, it doesn't have to be long. It is 10 minutes, but it works wonders because you have to take care of your muscle because it represents 60% of your, your, of your facial form. And you have to take care of your skin with the right product. For and sure. if you're doing this kind of combination, it works perfectly. I know a lot of people are going to be so interested to learn about the eyes and also like this area because, you know, as we <laughs> age, that's the area that a lot of people are concerned about. So let's yeah. do it. I'm all yours. Yeah. Yeah, we are going to guys, this might look funny. <laughs> yes. yes, so what I recommend you to do before starting with face yoga is, so you can also actually do it with, if you have your makeup on, okay? But it is even better if you don't, or, you know, if you're so just like in the morning time. when you wake up. Yeah. Yes, yes, or in the past. evening before, before going to bed. It is always nice to have only some kind of serum on your face. So it's not too slippery because when you're doing the exercises, you don't want your hands to slip off your face, right? right? Because you want to create this resistance and opposite resistance. That's that. And then you continue with other products or, ma or face masks and so on. Why? Because also improved blood circulation is happening during the exercise. Yeah. Absolutely. So everything is being absorbed way better. All right. So we're going to start with the cat eye exercise. This is my staple exercise. <laughs> and it is great for, as I said, lifting the upper eyelids, okay. reducing cross feet. But at the same time, because we are working on orbicularis oculi muscles, it is great for reducing puffiness and dark circles under the eyes. Awesome. Uh, each exercise should be done three times, holding it for 30 seconds. Okay. So let's start. We're going to use our palms and place them here on the sides of the face. With our fingers, we are embracing the head. And yes. we have to make sure we are grabbing the last part of the eyebrow. So you are, we are going to create the lift. Like this? Yes, very good. Now, Everybody, I hope you're doing this with us. This is so much fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to relax your shoulders as much as you can because at first, the shoulders and the, the neck is going to try to help, okay? Because yes. the muscles there are stronger. And now let's start pressing the area in so as we would like to squish our head and then slightly back and up to lift the eyes. So as we are creating the cat eye look and as the opposite resistance, we are going to start closing our eyes intensely like this. Mm. And hold and breathe deeply for 30 seconds. Okay, I have to watch you. So you are doing it. Relax the shoulders down. You are, you know, you have to grab the sides of the face and really nicely stretch it out. And don't be worried about, uh, worried about, you know, creating more wrinkles or anything like that. Oh, no. <laughs> this, is, this is a great way to open everything up and slowly then relaxing the pose. So just to make sure, so I'm like pressing in and then I'm closing my eyes and I'm just kind of like, Creating yeah. resistance. Yeah, it is not only closing, it is really like pressing your eyes like this. Okay, but you don't have to be worried about wrinkles because you are pressing your hand back. So if I show you one more Go time. Ahead. Yeah, I'm pressing in diagonally back and up. Can you see my lift? And you have to make sure you are not lifting like this because you see wrinkles. Yeah. There should be no wrinkle on your face when right. you're doing it. So pressing in. Diagonally back and up, and as the opposite resistance, you are closing your eyes intensely, relaxing the shoulders, pressing in, and breathing. Really. Okay, go for it, so I can see you. All right, so <laughs> close, my, so close to my um, eyebrows, 
So yes. we're going to press in, press pressing in, in diagonally back and then pull it back. Yes, and, and then close your eyes intensely. Don't go too much, so you are not frowning. You are doing a great job. Okay. Don't go too much. I'm watching you. Okay. Don't go too hard, but you should feel the resistance and the opposite resistance happening. Okay, I see your neck muscles working out too, so try to relax this out. <laughs> Don't this was so much fun. I'm so excited. So relax the neck. So this is really interesting, guys. Like, I'm really, like, relax the neck. Yeah. Press, press in. in. You're going to create yes. resistance, so pull back, right? Yeah. And then you're going to squeeze your eyes to create the resistance. Yeah. And hold it for 30 seconds. If you would feel pain and tension, like too much pain or too much tension in the neck area, you can also do this exercise while laying down. And okay. then when you finish, you slowly relax it down and you just tap. And you can also tap under the eyes, on the sides, and on the forehead because you want to relax the muscle down. So right. just to let you know, don't be afraid if you at first don't exactly know what you're doing because the, extra, the, the muscles, like more than half of the muscles on our face are atrophied because we never use them. And the muscle that is not being used, we are not able to feel it. And the muscle that is atrophied needs 14 days to reactivate. So first, you have to mindfully lift the muscle. Also, right. I'm working with people with Bell's palsy or facial atrophy, okay, when they are, you know, half of their face is just sagging down. So, uh, you know, in that case, we first visualize where the muscle should go. And then, you know, the no, muscle... No, I saw that, that like, like, it was really amazing. Like, I could feel the tension and the pull, like you said. You as I was it? pulling, but Yeah. Because obviously it's something that I don't do all the time. So like yeah. the fact that I was pulling with my hands while squeezing, I can feel the little stress, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what and I'm the best, so cool. Yeah, and the best thing of this for this exercise is actually that it also helps to, it, it, it just wakes you up and it helps to, you know, just clear your mind. So also if you have headaches, you can do this exercise. As soon as you start feeling that something is happening here, Go and do this exercise. Three so repetitions, 30 seconds. So let's do a quick one together just to make sure. So yeah. And so relax, relax, relax the shoulder, relax. Yes. The Don't be like this. Yeah. Because if not, everything here is going to be just yeah. okay. So you really have to shorter. Yeah, you have to be like super, yeah. you know, relaxed. So what I noticed when I first did I was raising my shoulders. It's very yeah. important to disconnect. So like relax the top body. I find this may help if you like. And then yeah. take your arms. Placing the arms. Or end the of the eyebrows. So the end of the eyebrows. Yeah, like this. Don't go like this. You don't, don't want to pull. So like yeah. You're just placing them. Pressing exactly. in. Press diagonally in. back and up. And squeeze your eyes together. Not so strong. But just to feel resistance and opposite resistance. I'm going to sh uh, watch you. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go down. So don't, put, don't okay, so go like that. Um, Diagonally go. back and up and closing the eyes together. Breathing. Have a question. Is it better to do it with the lips open or closed? Yeah, it is better to do it with lips slightly open because a lot of times we are going to start pressing our lips together because also those muscles are going to try to help. Yeah, that's out. why I noticed. So like my lips were trying to compensate. So that's a yeah. really good tip as well. So relax. Open the lips. Open the lips. Yeah, the, the mouth. <laughs> okay. okay, holding. Very good. All right. And it feels different. Slowly. All right, I like yeah. that. And slowly relax. Wow. Like just tapping. Mm -hmm. And this exercise is also great if we are experiencing facial asymmetry, especially in the eyebrows. You know, face exercises work wonders for that too, because they are able to tone the muscle and to create a nice uh, symmetry back. Awesome. That was really good. So I'm going to do uh, that every morning now. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. But I really, I really feel like the stretch. I'm like talking to you right now and I'm like almost like, like, wow, like my eyes are feeling yeah, it's just heavy. Like, it just wakes you up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So that's the first one. And the second one, is it like, 
it's going to be for the lower part, okay? So yes. not only for the neck, but also for the jaw. We have so many muscles here. Also one very big muscle called platysma, which goes all the way to the collarbone. Right. And when this muscle starts to get weaker and weaker, it starts to actually wrinkle, but also, you know, goes like this downwards. And we start seeing lines here, turkey neck, or even the double chin. Okay, right. but for the double chin, these muscles here are also important. So this exercise helps to tone everything here. It helps to improve blood circulation in the area. It also helps on the cleavage area. And at the same time, it helps to relax the tension from the jaw because we are also working with the masseter muscles here. And people who is grinding with their teeth at night, this exercise is perfect for them. All right, let's do it. Okay. How to do it? We are going to first push our head in to create the biggest double chin ever. <laughs> Grab the <laughs> hand and push everything, all the excess skin down to your collarbone. Intensifying the pressure here, you are going to tilt your head backwards and you should already feel the stretch. This is the platysma muscle working. Can you feel it? Mm hmm and now let's do ah, just open the mouth slightly and start pushing your jaw in front and up as you would want to push your lower teeth in front of the upper teeth, like this. Uh huh, yeah. And hold. Making sure you are not lifting the forehead, making sure everything else is relaxed, and holding the exercise for 30 seconds. And then put the tip of the tongue back to your throat. In that way, we are working out those muscles too. And we are getting a nice sculpt. So from the side, it is like this. Breathe, don't forget to breathe, I'm watching you. <laughs> I hope, how many people are actually doing this? Guys, put some <laughs> comments, I wanna know. All right, so I'm push, pulling. Yeah, so pulling it down. Yep. Tilting your head just slightly back. Don't go so too, not too much. Okay. And yep. then with your jaw. Yep. Up and in front. So lower teeth go in front of the upper. Uh-huh. This is so tricky. It's so interesting. And this area is not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, okay. and slowly relaxing it down and just tap so just tap the neck the neck muscles and also the jaw just to relax it down did you feel anything yeah i felt a really nice pull and then when i put my tongue on yeah. the top of my mouth it was really like powerful but very very like stretching yeah and Love people it. who are having problems with tmj this is called tmj if you have uh, you know, pain here and so on. And the, the severe part is bruxism. But people who have problems with that, they might feel quite a lot of tension, okay, in the area here. And this is nothing wrong with that. It actually only means that the exercise is working because if the muscle is tense, it, get, it, it gets bulky. And what to do with that, we have to stretch it out. And this exercise is perfect for stretching it out. Stretching out all those muscles. Let's do it one more time. Are yeah, you ready? Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love it. No, I want to like make sure I get this right and everybody else can really like, yeah, just also try to do a few to times. Let you know, as you can see, there is only two exercises, but each exercise has so many steps that it That's is perfect. quite tricky to do it. So it is not, yeah. especially at glowing phase. It is not about knowing 100 plus exercises. It is about knowing a few exercises, but the potent ones. And it is super important to create a nice structure out of it. Only that way you can really get very good results. Okay? For sure. All right, so let's do it. Going in with the chin, creating the biggest double chin ever. With the hand, we are grabbing everything and pressing it all the way to the collarbone, intensifying the pressure here, tilting the head back. You should already feel the stretch. I do. Make an A sound, so ah. Uh. And start pushing your jaw and chin in front and up. 
Like, like so. <laughs> okay, yes. Corners up. And now the tip of the tongue should go up and behind. Open eyes or close eyes? You can also close them. If you close the eyes, you are able actually to feel, you know, every single muscle mm. better because you just, you know, you start focusing on the muscles. And slowly relaxing. Wow. Did I'm you feel good. it? Yeah. And it okay. took me a second to figure out the teeth thing, but I think I got it. Yeah. So it is actually, you know, and you are, you have to push it from they the foot right to the jump. Like this. Yeah. So the exercises are quite funny, okay? It is not, you, you don't <laughs> that, was, that was my favorite part is doing faces. I even said that in my comment. I'm like, I can't wait to make funny faces live. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> so, so you are not, lo not looking the prettiest when you are doing the exercises, but it pays off afterwards. <laughs> I think, I know we are, um, we're going to move on to the cool dance shortly, but there was a question that I think is actually really cool to answer. How to yeah. make hollow cheeks and lip sagging skin? Sorry, can you repeat that again? How to make hollow cheeks and lift mm -hmm. sagging skin. Yes. So, you know, um, there is a lot, like there is a big science behind face exercises. You have to know that, as I said before, 60% of your facial form consists of muscles. And when we age, it is not only skin that ages. We are not just losing collagen and elastin, right, in our skin. We are losing bone density and we are losing uh, muscle volume right. but with the gravitation process another thing can happen and this is that our muscles if they are obtaining volume they start to sag down okay so we have to distinguish what is happening on our face are our muscles full but everything is sagging down and creating the double chin or are we getting the hollow face which means this right. okay and with face exercises, what we are actually doing is that first we are lifting everything up and then we are creating volume. So the volume is being created, especially in the cheeks, by first doing the static exercises for the cheeks. We have them in our online face workout program. And then if we really want to get bulky here, we, start, we have to start doing a bit of a cardio exercises. What does that mean? It means that you hold the exercise for a shorter period of time but you do more repetitions. So it is, as I said before, it is a science. And you are able to nicely put volume here and create a, a, like a beautiful hollowness here because we will all want to have like this, you know, nicely sculpted face with, you know, sharp cheekbones. And this is what you can do with the exercises. And just to let you know, because the skin is surra surrounding the muscle, when the muscle has volume, the skin has place to lay over. Yeah. So as soon as we build volume and lift the muscle, the skin is not sagging anymore because it has the place to lay over. That is such a important, like, I think that's a really big highlight to take from this for me. It's like, yeah. you know, when we work out, we work out, you know, our body face has to be part of that. Yeah, it is so funny. Yeah, because it should be separated, you know, every morning before we do our skincare or during our serum application. Yeah. Just those two exercises, I think, you know, as you said, with the bigger muscle groups also would be, you know, it's a big, yeah. big yeah. improvement. It is so funny because everybody says, you know, uh, everybody knows that you should be working with your body, right? And even though you are not obese, let's say, or have any injuries, you are doing it because you are want you want to stay fit and it is the same with the face it is not even about wrinkles you know no. you can start as soon as possible because having uh your facial muscles activated fully activated and you know having a nice facial mobility is everything do you know what happens when let's say your muscles get super tense you start getting headaches you start getting ear aches do you say it like that in English? I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ear pain, yeah. Ear. yeah. Or, you know, if you're grinding with your teeth at night, this, this is already a sign that something is going wrong. Uh, it's, you know, it's going on with your, with your muscles. And then, you know, I always say the side effect is reduced wrinkles and glowing skin.
Absolutely. So shall we do a cool down? Yes, for sure. I'm so, I'm totally still in warm up, cool down. I love it. So I know you were introduced to Nesco. Tell us a, just a very quick intro, how you actually learned about my line. Yeah, so I was so happy about it. I still, you know, uh, have it here. I stored it for, for this time, actually. Um, I went to Dubai to teach face yoga. So as I said, I'm traveling the world teaching face yoga. I also do everything online. And when I went there, uh, Pearl, Pearl Tree, um, uh, showed me the products she is actually offering and one of uh, one of those were your uh, Knesco skincare and you know like um, masks and so on and I was so eager to try it out and once I applied it you know I was just like oh my god my face was so hydrated and actually I did just that first the exercises then I you know after a long day of teaching yeah. I just came to my hotel room put on the mask and I got, I got even, you know, the bigger one. I remember you tagged us and I think I yeah, should. and I was just like amazed, especially because there's so much product in so much that you can stuff. actually apply it everywhere. And when okay. I woke up the next morning, I was just like, you know, my skin was just super hydrated. And I was, you know, then I went online and I read about your philosophy and your story. And I was just like sold. <laughs> so, you know, I'm from Slovenia. It's not, the, like, you know, I cannot go and buy your products in the store. I hope this is going to happen yes. one day. But, you know, we can get your products, our products online, right? At your yes. website or from people from Dubai and that region uh, at Pearl Tree, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so let's kind of go through that. I wanted to kind of give you a couple of tips. I'm not sure if you already did this. So... I know that you mentioned with Nesco, you loved how much product comes in there. And, you know, when people originally look at my mask, they might think it's just another mask, but it's actually a serum infusion. And I always say one of my face, uh, sorry, you know, one of my eye mask treatments has enough serum to apply in the morning on face, neck, decollete, even on the yeah. back of the hands. Yeah. So let's kind of quickly just do that first. Take out the eye mask, and if you guys have Nesco at home, I just kind of take it out of the tray. And this is literally my daily routine. Um, every morning, I have my eye mask, you know, in the fridge next to my, you know, eggs. I always make a joke on that. Um, <laughs> before I start making breakfast, this will be my first step. So there's a couple of different ways of using Nesco. You can go like, you know, like the actual way of just applying straight on. But I actually, my little founder tip is I always first pour the serum, Ooh. all okay. the serum. That's my morning first step. Like if I'm traveling or if I'm super dry, so there's a ton of serum. So yeah, I can see that. Mask. Pardon? Yeah, I can see that. It is just like, you know, you have plenty of it. Yeah, so actually that will be my first step. So I know with this some neck exercises, back of my hands, all over my face, refresh, and I'm gonna, I always put my hands, especially now, like I can literally go all day, there's so much serum guys. So when you let us one eye treatment, I haven't even started applying the eye treatment. I can see it on your, on your collarbone. Can you feel it? Yeah, it so, is like, I, I was, you know, yeah. when I first tried it, I was just like, that's it, really. Amazing. So, so Pearl Tree is saying it's great to see we can just use the serum from Nesco face. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So let's say you wanted to do a face yoga uh, your warm uh, your warm up first. You can still technically put on my serum, do your facial exercises, and then when we are finished with our cool down, we will get into our eye treatments and do that. So yeah, did you see sure. how much was there? Sorry. Did you see how much it was there? Like it was so yeah, much there. it was like you know I have it all over and I still got it in. <laughs> And then we're gonna actually apply. So we both are using my global bestseller, which is our Nano Gold Repair Collection. I typically like to, let's have a look. Yeah, use a thinner part. Let's have, a, I think you, so inside out. I mean, there's no yeah, really- I have the thinner part here. So use the part that's facing the tray onto your skin. So the, the part that was onto your tray, sorry, like the, mm -hmm. uh, the plus facing up is good. I think it's good, yeah. Yes. So the thing with my eye treatments is our, so it's the hydrogel masks. 
which store 10 times more serum than any other mask on the market. And if you ever notice like a little slip right now, it's all the extra serum. I don't just keep it on like that. I don't have time for that. I would literally take it off if you have any mm -hmm. slip and massage that all over your face. Because I love double layering serum. That's my favorite thing. Like I'm a serum junkie, like layer of multi mask, you know. So every extra bit of extra juice I'm going to get with my mask. I'm not going to just let this sit there because this yeah. is for value. And then I'm going to reapply. So if you guys, sometimes you may not have that. Like if you're super dry, you would just like sit beautifully. And um, if you're lying down, you don't even have to do that. So we are really all about promoting wellness and promoting mindfulness. So one of my biggest brand life philosophies is if possible, try to relax while masking, you know, give yourself a gift of time. You know, we're so connected to technology. We're so connected to our whole world, everything. So with a lot of brands, they like really promote like mask and clean mask and that, like that's like the opposite philosophy of ours. You know, all my products are charged with Reiki energy. Everything is infused with gemstones and minerals. So, you know, we really want our clients to just kind of make that conscious effort to just, just slow down and take a step back, you know. Yeah. And that literally could mean, like, I've had a really busy day at work. I cannot disconnect from my technology. And this happens, you know, we both have our own companies. So it's not very unusual to be, like, with your phone everywhere you turn. So Especially me, if you work online, you can be yeah. on your phone forever. Yeah. So for me, like I actually, I call it making a commitment to myself. Like I will literally schedule in my time for myself. Like every Sunday, mm -hmm. I need an hour. I do a Nesco bath meditation. I put like crystals, salts. I grab my stage stick. I mean, whatever I need to do to real. Now you are doing also face yoga because let's yes. say the cat eye and then oh. I mean, I've always I've always done a little bit of it, but I really want to do your course, so I'm really excited. So we'll we'll talk later um, because it's such an important part. I I really believe in exercising like your mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. So as you kind of see with my mask, and for those that have used them, they're really thick. And they're full of serum. So strategically, they kind of prevent us from trying to do too much anyway, right? And that's the, that's the purpose of Nesco. If I can have one person slow down for just 10, 15 minutes, and we are clearly sitting up, so we are multitasking to show people that this can be done if you really want to multitask with my products. But at the end of the day, like if you guys are wearing them, take a 10 minutes for yourself, put on chakra balancing class, or just do whatever makes you feel good so, you know listen to a song go to a garden just lie back and just feel the gratitude and feel that peace and serenity because it's often when we just give ourselves five minutes of our time 10 20 is amazing anything more is a bonus you know yeah. we we feel so much better so this is our gold mask and it's all about firm lift and hydrate uh, it's our anti-aging collection, and it's all about balancing the third eye chakra, which is the center of our intuition. So a great um, way of me using that as an example would be, let's say, if you have a, ever have like a decision to make or you have, you have to make a decision and you have logic, right, telling you one way, and then your gut instinct telling you another way. Mm. that's your center of intuition so when you for example have a big decision to make as an example you can literally put on your nesco gold collection on like face lip whatever you have and enjoy the beautiful treatment allow the energy to work and then just honor your intuition so we have a mantra that says i honor my intuition and just close your eyes and listen yeah. just go within and we always get the right answers have you ever made a decision based on like what other people told you you should do? And then you're like, God, I wish I listened to my gut. Yeah. A lot of times. <laughs> yeah. But that's yeah. where Nesco can come really handy. Not just as an amazing results, like driven skincare. We have, um, you know, a proprietary skincare technology, gem clinical technology. But it's for me, my passion is spreading lifestyle message of, of wellness. So if I can help people along their journey, when they think of us, to think of us as not just another skincare product, but 
a lifestyle brand that is coaching them, reminding them to slow down, you know, giving mm. them subtle cues. Hey, when's the last time that you did something nice for yourself? Yeah. That's what drives me. And that's why my passion is, which yeah. is really exciting. And, and for- I, love, I love your brand also for that and for your, you know, philosophy that you hold behind. It is amazing. And actually, honestly, I really think that Uh, taking only 10 minutes for yourself to do something for yourself is going to, you know, it would change worlds for, you know, for everybody because we start feeling ourselves better and then we are able to, you know, um, act from within and, you know, um, and just like it is to make, yeah taking a pause, right? Like sometimes you want to say things and like, you know, maybe you're, you know, but just like taking a moment to just like pause and just just wait before you speak. It's like the yeah. greatest gift of them all, right? Yeah, for, for sure. Well, I hope we get to continue chatting. We're almost done with our time. Thanks everybody that's been watching. We do want to mention, yeah. uh, you know, Kareen's, uh, just a quick, everybody really knows that we have rollers. So just a, what a big announcement from Nesco. Comes July 15, we are launching our rollers oh, individually. Cool. This is my Royce Quartz, my white jade. I've been working on this for some time. Obsidian and Very cool. green jade. And they come in the coolest, coolest, like a beautiful travel silicone case that it's really protective. And I'm so excited. So that's coming. That's so cool. Life. Congrats. I hope that I can get my hands on I will send you to go to Dubai. <laughs> I'm going to, we're going to hook you up. But Yay. tell me, what is your Ben? Uh, just super last bit is why do you like gemstone rollers? I know not all, all you know, rollers are the same, but mm-hmm. the main benefits of gemstone rolling for Karen and why do you use it in your, like in your yeah. business? So, as I said, you know, I always like to do my workout. And then when you are done with your workout, just think about what is happening with your muscles. The muscles are actually super warm. The lactic acid is being there, right? Right. So what you are going to do, you have to cool down the muscle. You have to, you know, move away the lactic acid and, let's say, the salt lymph that was stored on the face in the face right so with the roller you are actually able to you know massage it out and what i like to do i like to start from the jaw Mm -hmm. now i hold the i grabbed the the um, yeah with metal it's okay yeah (laughs) so i you know like to go upward and right. then I go under the eyes. I stay there for longer. And yes, I'm using also the smaller bit. So I'm staying there for a bit longer. And I like to store my jade roller uh, in the fridge because it's cooler. Um, and then, you know, when I finish that, I go on the forehead and I right. work my forehead too. And then at the end, you know, I then go to the other side and the, at the end, I move everything downwards all the the way to my yeah. And also here, I like to work it downwards. Mm -hmm. And I like to go always, you know, first up. And then I like to move it down. Yeah. Just because I want to activate the lymphatic drainage. So we have a pretty similar way of doing that. I usually say like three times at least in each direction towards the lymphatic. So like draining yeah. lymph. And like if you can do more than that, it's a bonus. You For can sure. do it over your serums, facial oils, like any like morning skincare routine. Mm-hmm. And then when wearing Nesco mask, you guys all over the mask, it just helps yeah. with the creation of serum even deeper into the skin as well. Yeah. And just um, imagine before doing the exercises, it opens your pores the blood circulation is going, you are putting your mask on, it is being absorbed even better. And then if you roll over, it is just like, you know, you did everything. I have a a question for you, like super life. Do you know some people really like like slap the muscles, like really like, Mm -hmm. like I say it, do you believe in that? Like really like increasing the blood flow through like a, like a massage? 
Okay, so besides doing the uh, exercises and, you know, teaching face yoga online and offline, I also do face yoga facial treatments. And I like those techniques as a warm-up but never longer than 30 seconds. And it's just, I like to do a slight slapping, but it's super light and pinching, but just lightly, it is not grabbing and pinching, I don't know where, but I like to do that because we are waking up the muscle and I'm not, you know, dragging on the skin only, I'm going deeper into the muscle, right? Yeah to increase blood circulation, to prepare muscles for working. And then I like to go into the exercise. And then I always like to finish with nice, gentle, long strokes to really calm That's down. Polarizing, you're just calm, calming everything. Yeah, no. yeah I, um, I just hear different things about that. I, I feel the same way, like don't overdo it, just yeah. to kind of increase. Um, that would be really, um, yeah. you know, amazing. Um, well, it was so, so amazing to speak to you. And thank you so much for coming. And thank we are for keep, I will be sharing this video on Nesco feed as soon as it's finished. So for those of you who want to refer back to it, please um, do. And you can check us out and leave us your comments. And again, thank you so much for coming. And thank uh, you. it was an amazing session. It was nice. Session. It was nice. Nice. I want to talk about. <laughs> yeah it was my biggest pleasure and we were thinking about doing it for 30 minutes but you know I'm just going to be honest with you when I start talking especially about face yoga I can be here forever when I talk about you know like face cream um face masks and jade rollers and gua sha's I'm just like all in so you know we could be here for hours talking about this so you know oh, i hope we're doing another live soon <laughs> yeah if you guys want to leave us any comments if you want to see like any other sessions let us know we'll be curious to see what we maybe we missed and maybe we can revisit in the future yeah all right well thank you everybody thanks karen thank you so much for inviting me and thank you everybody for joining and listening thank i you hope to see you all soon